basic derivatives chain rule Leibniz notation okay the chain rule is basically you have a function let's say 2x plus 1 to the power of 3 and the chain rule this over here Leibniz version is basically you derive the outside and then time you derive it by deriving the outside you leave the inside the same and you multiply this whole the, der the derivative of this by the derivative of the inside so it's the derivative of the outside multiplied by the derivative of the inside and that's the step that's what it looks like well, it's, that's what it looks like and I'll show you with this example so basically this if you cover the inside it looks like the power rule so and the power rule you know as from previous video so what you do is you make this look like the power rule so we'll grab the inside and so you let make it u u equals 2x plus 1 so we can rewrite this like u to the power of 3 because we're not changing it anyway we're just substituting u for this um, mess so we, this makes it a lot easier because it looks like the power rule so that's where dy over du comes in handy because y is the function and it's with respect to u now not x so we derive this dy du we bring this down 3 and multiply it by u and then take one off the power which would be 2 now we have I'll divide this. Now we have to divide we have to derive the inside, which is now this u function. So we go du with respect to x. Because u is now the new letter for the this function, and we're deriving it with respect to the variable which is x. So we derive this. The one, first of all, the 1 cancels out because you, when you derive a single real number, it just cancels. But the 2x, the x technically has power 1 up there. And as shown in a power rule video I've already done, you can check that out if you struggle with this. But 1 take 1 is 0, so you're left with 2 times 1 because x to the power of 0 is 1, so it's 2. Okay, now you follow this formula, dy over dx equals dy over du multiplied by du over dx. So, that will equal sub dy over du, which is 3u to the power of 2. multiply that by 2 which is du over dx okay now we can sub u back in because we're in the final steps of finishing up this process so we sub u back in and we're left with 3 2x plus 1 to the power of 2 times 2. Now if you wanted to simplify this further you could multiply the 2 with the 3 because technically the 3 is just multiplied to this so that would be 6 2x plus 1 to the power of 2 and that is the derivative of this up here oh it's a bit crooked that up there this is the first derivative 
of that. Okay. Now, for another example, hope to hope hope that sticks. Example one. Okay, so we'll just make the inside a bit bigger. So y equals x cubed plus four x squared plus two x to the power of six. Now, same step, same process, you let u equal the inside. And now y equals u to the power of 6. You now you can do the power rule. So, same process, dy over dx, or dy over du. equals 6u to the power of 5 because you bring the power down and you take 1 off the power. Now, du with respect to x is you bring the power down, so that's 3x and you take 1 off the power, which is 2. You plus that by this, well not this, but the derivative of this, which is you bring the 2 down, multiply it by the 4, which is 8 x, and then you take 1 off, which would just be 1. You can then have to write the 1, but you can if you want to. And then you add it to the derivative of what this would be, which is just 2, because 1 take 1 is just 0, so it's just 2. Okay, now we can put this together. So dy, so dx equals du, or dy, over du multiplied by du over dx. Okay, so if we sub those in, that would be 6u to the power of 5 multiplied by 3x squared plus 8x to the power of 1 plus 2. Now we sub the u back in, which would leave us with 6 multiplied by, or 6 bracket, power 3 plus 4x squared plus 2x to the power of 5 multiplied by 3x squared plus 8 x to the power of 1 plus 2. Now, most and most people will just let you leave it there, but you can simplify it more if you multiply this by this up here. Um, you can't multiply this by this or this by this because you have the power there. If there was no power there, you could um, simplify it further. But if you want to, you can simplify this into that. I won't, but you can. Now, for another example, You could, example two, square root of four plus three x. Okay, so like in other in another video, I showed that it's basically the same as four plus three x to the power of a half. Same step. You let u, u is just what I'm using, you don't have to, you can use whatever you want to label it, but for now in this example I'm using u to as my representation or as the letter of the function 4 plus 3x. And now you're left with y equals the square root of u, or u to the power of a half. Now, same process when deriving this, it's just the same power rule. So du or dy over du equals you bring the half down, you multiply it by the u. Half a half take one, which is a half take a whole equals negative a half. And 
as I explained before in another video, when you got a negative, um, when you get a negative power, you bring it under as you bring it from the top of the fraction to the bottom of the fraction. So that would be one over two u to the power of a half. Okay, so now you have du with respect to x, or the u with respect to x, which would be 4 plus 3x, any number, you can cancel out when you derive it, because you can't derive it, or you can, but you derive it to 0, and uh, 3x, that just leaves a 3x, um, because like I said, it's the power of a 1, when you take 1, it becomes a 0 power, and you're just left with 3. So, put these together, dy over dx equals dy over du multiplied by du over dx, which is, sub that in, 1 over 2u power over half multiplied by 3. Now, we sub the u back in, bring that up, that leaves 1 over 2, 4 plus 3x to the power of a half, multiplied by 3. Now you could simplify this even further by making it a square root just to make it neaten, neaten up, and because this is multiplied to this, this fraction, you can bring the 3 on top. I'll show you what that means. So, you can make it 3 over 2 square root 4 plus 3x. And that there is the first derivative of this. Thank you.